Welcome back, everybody, to Sandy the Lost, a podcast that we talk about a ton of different things. And maybe it's just because I do way too much recorded games and stuff, but my brain's already thinking about what I, what I want to do for summer. <laughs> Which is? I want to play Traveler. That doesn't surprise me. And well, like I kept going back and forth because I wanted to do the Marvel RPG, TTRPG, mm-hmm. or whatever it's called, which everything I hear about is fun, and I know I can make a really good superhero story. Mm-hmm. But I was just sitting there. I think it was like sat- Sunday afternoon. I'm like, why do I want to do that when I'm literally like thinking to myself, I wish I could do more b- blank, pretty much anything behind me right now. <laughs> and so I'm just like, I should just do a traveler series and and that it's just gonna run through the whole summer i i did see you had the uh traveler book out during hot and spicy spam night (laughs) that sounds way more like a different channel (laughs) rating than my whole (laughs) it's hot and spicy (laughs) night hot and spicy (laughs) spam night Once it hits nine o'clock, it's the wet T-shirt contest. Dave, 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 Contestants Dave, and judge content. me. Surprise! Why did my you viewer count an drop? OnlyFans. What? <laughs> the bigger question is, how did I get second? <laughs> um. But yes, so I. It's one of those things where I'm like, you know what? I would love to do this live. I don't think I'd be able to. It's like I think I want to do. I I doubt it will work every other week, but I would want to try. I want to get a like. I would love it to be every week where it's just like, hey, let's do like an hour to hour and a half mm-hmm. of, of of people and, and just be like, hey, we're gonna do this, um, and then yeah, you know, just live stream and all that stuff. But then it's just like. I don't. It would be it'd be really fun to do it every week, but it's like realistically, it'll probably be every other week. Wouldn't and super realistically, maybe once a month. But I want it to be more than <laughs> once a month. Well, if it was just once a month over the summer, that you'd only play three times. Exactly. That's why I'm like, uh, I want to sh- try to get a group that would be okay, if not weekly, every other week. Yeah. And like, if it's every week, it. Would, We'll keep it between an hour to an hour and a half, so that way it's like, uh, not crazy, but yeah. it's just like, I'm like, yeah, that. So I'm like, okay, we'll do that, and then once the fall comes, because a lot of my like little game things are much more horror based, it's like, here we go, we'll we'll get spooky TTRPGs then. There you go. For the for the Halloween season that officially starts and actually Halloween you know starts in August you know we we decorate in August for Halloween so you just start then. I technically start Halloween prep in the middle of summer because that's when Pointless Discourse starts recording their Halloween episodes. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's true. That is true. Yep. So. Halloween all year. Yeah. Well, we. With A24 films, a lot of them are kind of horror movies. <laughs> At least the ones we chose. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. What's the one? I gotta watch. T- tomorrow there's one I have to watch. Uh, Dream Scenario. That just came that. out. It's Nicolas Cage in everyone's dreams. Oh! Oh my gosh, I want to watch that so bad! I didn't realize that's what it was called. I think in my head it was just the Nicolas Cage movie. There, there's a Isn't lot of that those. all of them? <laughs> yeah. You know, uh, you know. But uh, I, I watched a, a horror movie a little while ago for the podcast. It's not. That's the fun thing. I'm like, am I spoiling this off? And I'm like, I don't care. Uh, it's a a little horror movie called The Green Room. Sorry, I keep saying The Green Room. The is not part of the title. Title just Green Room. Just is that a movie with um, Patrick Stewart? Heading mm-hmm. up a Nazi group. That was a great movie. Yes. Wow. And, uh, that is a description. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it's also got, uh, what's his name? The uh, Russian actor who was crushed Check by uh, his own car. Yeah. As I said, this was not the Star Trek uh, reunion yeah. 
no. that I was expecting. <laughs> it's such okay. So just with that description alone, there's a fact about that movie that I think is really cool. When Patrick Stewart was reading this script in his home in the UK, he said that he got so scared that he went in, locked down his whole like house, and just he like, locked his his house, put on the alarm system. And then went to like the deep recesses of his home, locked himself in there, and like st- <laughs> pretty much stayed up all night because of just how badly he was spooked by this script. What? And then he was like, the next day he's like, I need to play this role because <laughs> he's like, I, it's like this will challenge me, which it's like Jeez. the dude is stinking Xavier. Yeah. Um, John Luke Picard. I think there's another third big thing that he is besides Shakespearean actor, and it's like, <laughs> guy, you don't really need to be challenged anymore. But he's just like, I must. <laughs> so is it that scary? It's it's it's, it's not, not. It's, it's more a of thriller. a thriller. Yeah, it is. It's, okay. It is. It was definitely yeah. advertised as, I think, more of a scary movie. Like, I remember watching a preview for it and thinking it was going to be a more, like, horror bent. But, like, mm-hmm. watching it, it's definitely more in, like, thriller territory. Interesting. Yeah. It, it is really good. Um, very gory. Uh, oh, then I'm out. <laughs> yeah. It's... there. There's a lot of... I forgot about this. Like, it's from Patrick Stewart. Uh, Robin Hood Men in Tights. Uh, yep. Mm, yep. Were you just trying to find if he was part of another franchise? Oh, I was looking at the his uh, filmography to see what other, yeah. uh, what other ones were in there. Things, yeah. It'd be funny if, like, could you He's imagine if he so was, much. like, a... Yeah. It'd be funny if he was, like, a w, WWE announcer. Wasn't like, there a movie where he was a hypochondriac and, like, he wouldn't leave his house... And like, was he? No, in that's that? Howie Mandel. They're both bald, so I see how that can get confusing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's uh, I feel like probably there was some movie like that he was done. I can't. Every once in a while, though, I I I always toy with the idea of watching, um, the Next Generation series, and then I remember how many there are. I remember how many second seasons there are. (laughs) I I think one Star Trek series that I would like to give another try to is Deep Space Nine. Yeah, I enjoyed Deep Space Nine. Yeah, it was one I was like I would catch every now and then, but didn't like watch all the way through. But I know a lot of people have a lot of good things to say about it. Yeah, like I just remember a couple things, and it just like I remember younger me. It didn't like I didn't hit. It didn't like connect well Mm -hmm. but um because growing up i watched voyager all the time because that's what was on tv yeah right and like all my friends were into star trek and so i also had to be into star trek (laughs) (laughs) and i didn't understand and i can fully say didn't understand a thing that was going on but i (laughs) did enjoy what i was watching well isn't that all that counts Mm -hmm. i mean sometimes the experience Most of what's going on, at, at least from a technology standpoint, is made up anyway, so. Yeah. There's, just uh, like this it's game. Magic yeah, I was just going to say. Name. The, the, there's a bunch of spots where I've seen in, like, behind the scenes type of stuff for various Star Treks where the script has uh, various spots that they get sent off to different groups that, and it'll include stuff like uh, insert techno babble here type of uh, comments yep. in the uh, script. <laughs> yep. So it'll go around to the tech the uh, the tech team would fill in the uh, techno babble for that particular thing and <laughs> yep. So now I know that Knight reads my notes for any of my shows. Duh. <laughs> How else am I supposed to know uh, what I'm supposed to do? This is all scripted. Um, yeah, well, if you've read the script I sent you a month ago, you would know that Hank was supposed to climb up a tree. <laughs> and he did. It's not my fault I got the Reader's Digest edition. 
<laughs> it's not my fault you can't read. He just cliff notes the whole you thing. You didn't have to say it. It's spark notes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. You know what? Another thing uh, would be finish your drink every time I say any poops. I don't say it as much, but I do say it enough to get noticed. If you give me this because more than five true. minutes before the show started. <laughs> you know what? This is what I say to this. Music time. Woo! That was intense. Yes. My brain doesn't know how loud that actually came off. But it's all good. Because last time, our heroes... Nah, that's too strong of a word. Our... Uh, investigators. <laughs> Protagonists. These hobos that just kind of show up whenever <laughs> we need them to. Uh, <laughs> kind of a hobo, I guess. Yeah. You By are your a art, yeah. Bit of a hobo, at least <laughs> uh, right now. Yep. But anyway, uh, you guys are uh, pretty much got in touch with nature. Uh, <laughs> this seems like something that Delhi would love to do. Just not that close and that big. As you guys woke up a bear from hibernation, um, and it chased y'all before um, tricking it with magic and and getting away, and me um, fumbling on the roll, one of its highest skills of scent. <laughs> and it was Ooh. definitely going to smell one of you guys. But I rolled a 99 over a 70. <laughs> and That's there's incredible. nothing I could do about that except do what I did. So I'll just have to kill you the old-fashioned way. By <laughs> cheating. <laughs> I mean, you didn't even call it out. You totally could have cheated in that moment. Yeah, but we were also running out of time. <laughs> so, um, it is now getting dark. And... Um, I'm gonna say it's been it's been like ten ish minutes at this point. Um, Hank, you have regained your wits and you have noticed that Berg be gone, but where you don't know because you were in a stupor up in a tree. Sure. <clears throat> so, what would you like to do? Uh, so I assume I'm out, am I out of chase sequence, or are we still Yes, in... everyone is out of chase sequence. Okay. Um, I'm probably going to stay in the tree just like another 10-ish minutes or so, just to make sure the bear has fully left the area. I'm not in mm -hmm. any hurry to come out of this tree, especially as I'm not aware of how much time has passed, so I'm going to uh, okay. be cautious. So, while you're doing that, um, uh, let's see, David and Deli, you guys, um, it's been, like, a minute or so, like, after we're after the bear has left, and you realize the bear is no longer chasing you. Um, and uh, if you guys wait for another five-ish minutes or so, uh, you realize that, yeah, it's like it's up to you guys if you guys are going to keep going down the trail or kind of just stay where you're at for a moment. What would you guys like to do? But it's <clears throat> it's clear that bear. Bear be gone. Bear be gone. Well, guess... Sounds like a new product. <laughs> there probably is a product. I'm, I'm sure there with is. With that name. Yeah. So I guess my question is like, did, had we actually like stopped for a second or like, did we just keep going? Uh, that's up to you guys. I, I think we would have uh, been running at least until we had some woods between us and the bear to cut down visibility and everything else, all that type of stuff. At least that's what I imagine mm -hmm. David would be like, you know, we're, we're moving until we mm -hmm. can no longer see where that bear was. 
Yeah, and you guys have. Like, uh, okay. we'll say that you're kind of, you took like a, a short bend around the tree line and you don't have, like, uh, you broke in line of sight. Okay. Um, yeah, so Deli's gonna kind of slow down and, like, maybe, like, s like, hide behind a tree around this bend just to, like, catch her breath. Um, she's still pissed. So she's kind of, like, just mouthing off a bit to David. Um, about the fact that she can't believe that Hank climbed a frickin' tree when he was being chased by a stupid bear. Well, I mean, it, he Dude. was he was struggling to keep up with us, so... I mean... You're just mad you didn't... Probably for the best, but... <laughs> <laughs> You're not here. You don't get commentary. <laughs> no, no, I, I allow it. <laughs> <laughs> we just hear in our heads from far away. <laughs> well, he, he's saying all this using a, the uh, talk rune or the message yeah. rune. Yeah. This, no, this is just part of his stupor right now. He's just, he's still answering everything. <laughs> I mean, I yeah, can't, Adele, he's like, I can't say I didn't think about climbing. Though? Yeah, I mean, I, didn't, I a, thought about a climbing tree. a tree, but. I mean, well, then you're stuck in a tree with a bear. Come on. I mean, if you get high enough, the bear's going to get lose interest eventually. Are we going back and getting him? Well, I, it, I haven't heard the bear for a while. Um, we probably should see if we can find where he we'll climbed the tree and you know, see if we can find him. What time is it now? Um, I think it's getting around four o'clock at this point, and it's November, so it's st in, in the woods, so it's starting to get a little, little dark. Okay. Well, we better make it quick. I have a feeling we're going to be camping out here tonight, or we need to get back to the cabins ASAP. I mean... You saw those cabins. Do you really want to stay sit in the cab or sleep in one of those cabins? Do you want to sleep out here? Uh, no, I, I'm not an outdoorsy type. I don't do camping yeah. that often. Yeah, not, the, not this I time mean, of year anyway. But uh, I love the outdoors, and I don't even want to stay in this. Let, There's a bear. Uh, let's see if we can find him. And I mean, if we can't find him right away, then hopefully he has at least the good sense to head back up the trail and get back to the uh, cabins. Um, I mean, he seems like he knows how to handle himself out in the woods, so... <laughs> I mean, apart from... Apart from running into bears, but, you know... <laughs> who, who, uh, who does that normally? Yeah. You just hear, it's... whose fault was that? <laughs> <laughs> so I, I imagine at this point, Deli and David Can are probably... You dig it? Probably walking back around the the path to try to see the find the tree where he climbed the, climbed up, and I imagine there'd be enough track on the ground at least to see the uh, tree where that he climbed up from. to. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I'll say that took enough time. Where Hank, if uh, that like their whole escape and everything, like them deciding to turn around uh, could also align with you gaining your wits again. So. And okay. at, at the end of the ten minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, they're, I mean, they're not I mean, there we'll, yet. but Right, 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 right. right. Okay. Are well, you going to like to do? Line? Yeah, I was going to say, what are you doing? <clears throat> I mean, if we want to say, like, the ten minutes are up, like, I can, I can climb down if the bear's not around. And try rolling a track skill to see if I can figure out which way they went and just start headed towards them. Mm -hmm. Well, you can still, you don't even need to roll it because you can see the, the. Wait, we weren't tracks. exactly being root stealthy. Seller. Yeah. yeah, yeah, like, but you you could see the root cellar where you were and like you can put together where the path is. It, yeah, it's yeah. not like okay. pitch dark yet. It is. It is like the twilight, but 
since it's cloudy, it's it's like a gray twilight. Gotcha. Right now. All right. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna I'll start walking towards them or the way they went. So we're essentially going to, like, meet in the middle. Yep. And there we go. Wow. And we do. So, so, well, here's the question, though. Hello. Here's the thing, though. We can't see Hank yet. Oh, that's true. Unless Hank has dropped the the shade rune. Oh, I'm going to yeah. say in his stupor state, like, after a couple minutes, it, it dropped on okay. its own. Because okay. you weren't <laughs> able to, like, will it to keep on. That's also one of those things. So, like, thinking about, like, the way that Hank does this, like, that would have been... The way he would have done it is it would have been more of, like, holding on to one of his totems and being like, please don't see me, please don't see me, please don't see me. So, like, in his mind, the ba like, I don't think he would even recognize that he was, like, invisible. You know, it's oh, more of a, like, you know... He attributed it more to like good luck that the bear didn't see him and follow him. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, it's like the the rune. Um, so as yeah, as it, a result, it just of that, like cast off all potential attention away from him. Right. So he wouldn't like even be holding it or like continuing maintaining the spell. It would essentially, I guess, drop mm -hmm. naturally or drop however long you know after however long the. The default is, I guess. Well, mm -hmm. I mean, the default doesn't have limits attached to it so far, uh, apart from sure. somebody else being able to break it. I guess it would. It would also. So it it would probably be something about along the lines of like once the threat is gone and he stops like channeling that like yeah. desire through his item, then it would drop at that point. Okay, so the okay, so you are visible, net effect then. is shade is shade is gone, so we can see him. Yeah, yeah, yeah we yeah, can yeah. see him. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. looks like the tree worked out for you. Okay. Uh, we should get out of here. Uh, Hank's like, yeah, yeah, you 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 learn a few things up in the Alaskan wilderness, um, like climbing trees to. Yes. I, many a tree has saved me from many a bear. <laughs> and there goes all our Alaskan listeners. So. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe sounds, next season. <laughs> sounds to me like we should stop poking bears, but uh, I guess i got to have a hobby. I don't know. I guess is there just not much else to do up the, in Alaska? Have you been to Alaska? No, there's not much to do in Alaska. <laughs> Yeah, well, there's math. But anyway, what's our next move here? <laughs> well, it it doesn't seem like it doesn't seem like he's here. I I, I can't see Jacob being uh, good neighbors with a bear. Do uh, we want to go back down in that cave and see what's going on there? I mean, I know it's getting dark, but with the bear, the, the bear cave. Did did the bear go back into the cave? Yeah. Presumably, oh, I, I thought it. I thought it just like ran off. I missed that. Well, yeah. I mean, uh, it, I said we don't that, know but for sure. Honestly, way, but... no, none of you. Like I said that in at the end of the episode, but you being in a stupor and the other right, two yeah. just booking it, you guys aren't a hundred percent sure. But are you I willing mean, to risk it for the biscuit? I, no, I think the bear is. That's where it lives. Yeah, I mean, we could also look that at smelled terrible. Yeah, I mean, we could look at tracks, but I I suspect the tracks would go right back to the uh, cellar. Right. And, I mean, the, I you know, see, having the bear there, I imagine the smell is probably in line with what a what a bear's den would end up smelling mm -hmm. like. Right. Now, Hopefully the bottles and not stuff. There's a human body in there. I mean, the bottles and stuff on the on the shelf. I mean, maybe there's something else there to look at, but I don't think it's worth going back there. It would certainly kill, it would take some of our daylight, and we're already running low on that as it is. So we either take the risk and go to the cabin, the cabin, and she like holds up the map, or we go back. I mean, we can, we can probably guess there's not any bears in the cabin. 
I there might be some not. killers, though. Well, that's what we're looking for. I'm going to guess he's not down there with the bear. Well, if he is, then uh, our job is done. Well, maybe. Regardless, I don't think he's there with the bear, because that, that bear, it did not seem to be uh, happy to have company, and I don't see it, anybody else being down there. Agreed. <laughs> so, the cabin? I was just, sorry to break this up, but I just was looking at, oh, that's Chicago. What up? Let me, I was looking up what the <laughs> sunset was, and I was like, oh. It was actually super cloudy then, but it was in Chicago. Hold on, let me see if I... <laughs> also, speaking of things to Google, I just Googled if you should climb a tree when you're getting chased by bears, and in all caps, it says you absolutely should not climb a tree <laughs> when you're getting chased by bears. Yeah, but what do they know? So, Alaskan Hank, no. I mean, I think the only situation where it would make sense is if you had a very easily climbable tree and room, and that was your only option to for uh, to create space. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're headed to the cabin. I would. We at least need to head back towards the center point of that path to be able to get back to the regular cabins, so either way, we need to be heading that way. Alright, so we start heading off back to the like, following the path back. Alright. So, I don't, I honestly can't remember how long I said the path took. Is that in your notes? Um, yeah, probably. Well, you know what? I think since you guys, I'm gonna, unless you guys are going to take your time, I'm going to say you can make it back within the hour. Yeah, that's fine. Cause, 90 uh, minutes. You said an hour to 90 minutes. Okay, well now that you know the path and everything and you guys aren't trying to like really pay attention to or, or not like searching, it's yep. going to take you about yeah, it, it takes you about half the time. So we'll, we'll say about in 50 minutes, uh, you kind of make it back to the crossroad like where you marked and everything um, okay. pretty clearly. And so at this point, it is like 20 minutes till five and it's the sun is about to set. Okay. The thing is, um, let me Does see. Does Hank still have the radio? Um, uh, yeah, I think so. Do you? <clears throat> Probably. I would he sounds have it so in confident. Whatever my gear stuff. You gonna check? I mean, we could if we need to. Yeah. Well, let me know if you want to call. We'll see if it's there. Um, <laughs> but I think Hank from his bounty hunter stuff. I don't know what Hank. Do you have a law score? Do I have a law score? Uh, yeah. I don't think so. well, I do. It's, it's low, a five. But it's nineteen. 19 you know i think that's i think that's just enough to realize like um that this that you would have enough general knowledge with working and probably on cases like this where you do have another location and with this working with the state police but they're doing everything they can it's like you you don't if you go and just kind of head in for the night Mm -hmm. Like there's, like he could potentially get away and and stuff. So it's like they would, right. it, it it wouldn't be out of the question to, like even though it's gonna get late and it's it's nighttime, mm -hmm. but you, like Cruz would probably tell you the same thing if you went out and talked with him. It's just like we have to check, we have to check that cabin, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, Hank basically says, you know, says to them that, you know, time is of the essence. They're hot on, we're hot on his trail. Like, if we, if we turn in for the night, it's going to go cold and we're going to lose any progress that we've made. So, he campaigns to, to push and go to the cabin. That's fine. Okay. Uh-huh. 
Yep, so... Yeah, let me know if you guys are planning to call in or anything while we're doing this. So... I, I think uh, as we're getting cl back close to the center point of the trail, David would either have... Say, hey, Hank, um, why don't you call uh, the sheriff and uh, call the locals and let them know... Let them know that we found one end of this trail and that it was cold and we're heading off to the other down the other path on this trail. Hank, Hank roll uh, lock. <laughs> say Hank nods and uh, reaches back for his radio. That is a 22 under 37. Okay, the radio's there. If you did not pass that, you lost that in your stupor. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> um, now, are you just doing what you norm did last time? Not no, checking time and calling him. in. Yeah, I you mean, were he's hit, gonna you like, were with him last time. He's gonna I think like, he was uh, behind us. He's gonna oh, mic he was, in. He was with us last time. Uh, David. I just, just kind of like I stepped in, like away <clears throat> a little bit, and they weren't paying attention. Yeah. But he's uh, gonna Dilly like. wasn't paying attention. He's gonna mic in and like you know basically make a call for a response. Like he's not just going to like give info. <laughs> um, so like uh, yeah. address the well I said it was close to the time and he said he was going to check every 20 minutes to the hour and so uh, yeah he, it's just uh, you it was like psh, psh, hey 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 yeah you guys okay I haven't heard for you in like in a couple hours uh yeah things got a little uh, got a little dicey we ran into the local wildlife out here and had to navigate that a little bit but um, uh -huh. we, uh, we've got two options that we were looking at. One was a cave, one is a cabin. Uh, let's leave it at the cave is currently occupied, and we don't need to go down that route. Uh, so we're headed over to the cabin. Uh, we don't want to let our tr the trail go cold, so we're going to push into the night and see what we can find. Uh, okay, um, do you guys have enough lights? Or I, I think I might have an extra floodlight here if you want to grab it. Um... You it's up to you guys. Lights, right? uh, we, I mean, yeah, we, we have, have lights. I also don't know how long it would take us to get back. Like, it feels like... Yeah, I was going to say. Um, no, we've we've got lights here. Uh, it's going to take too long to, to go and pick up a floodlight and come back. It's We need to just keep pushing on, so okay. I think we'll be fine. Yeah, we... The the men that we have, the, we haven't found anything on the road, so hopefully uh, you guys come up with any... Come up with something. So. All right, we'll keep you posted. All right, sounds good. Mm. Over and out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's already gone. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, so that that happens, and all right, so you guys are going to roll, go. I said roll, go down. Roll uh, on the down the path. path. <laughs> on the way. <laughs> Play Rusted Root. <laughs> Oregon no, that's a fun thing. You say, every, you say Rusted Root, and everyone's like, "What the heck is that?" And then it's like they're literally the band that's saying, "Oh no way, whatever that song is." The the song that get played in every road trip. It's the song. one with the like the pipes. Yeah. The pain about they played in Ice Age. Uh, I saw them live. <laughs> 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 and it was funny because it, they purposely play that one song last uh, ever. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's what they always do. Save the, it's the, the most only popular song. for last. The song is Send Me On My Way. Yep. Rusted Roots, Send, Send Me On Me My on Way. way. Uh, and I'll look that up. I lost roll 20. There it is. Okay. So it is now getting colder. And... As night begins to descend, it's yeah. You know, the wind is slowly picking up. Um, you guys all feel that like even on the return trip, like just yeah, you know, the sun was setting, but it's just like something didn't feel right, like in your in your gut, like where, like in the pit of your stomach, where you're just like, it, it's like something ain't, ain't like uh. 
Like, and it's not just the fact that you went down something and, and found uh, a sleeping bear. Uh, something... Like, it, you just guys feel on edge as you go through here. And so, are you guys... What pace are you guys going? Um... Well, I would imagine that, like, as that, like, unsettling feeling kind of sinks in, that, like, Delhi would start to get more, like, stealthy. I don't know that we're... I don't know that she would, like, super slow her pace, because it is dark and cold, but, like, mm -hmm. being more quiet and intentional... You're, you're pretty much trying to perceive and, and take everything in, and so yeah. you're taking your time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, anyway, so that's what Deli's doing. How I, far away are we still from the cabin? You, I, I'm gonna show you the path. Like, this is just as you guys are traveling down your path, and you knew that think, the first one... Go yeah, ahead. I was gonna say, I would think we would, like, be moving at a, like, fairly, like, a quick walk pace and then kind of slow down as we get closer. Mm -hmm. Would be my thought. Yeah, I think... I'm just... Yeah, I, I would say probably a, a reasonably quick walk with... and keeping the lights... keeping the lights low so to not draw too, uh, attention to themselves, or to... Mm -hmm. at least for David, not draw attention mm -hmm. to himself. So, like, not shining the flashlight just straight down the path, but keeping it fairly clo low and close. Mm -hmm. And guys, remember, if, if Deli doesn't go fast enough, you can just push her to speed her up. <laughs> <laughs> or drag right. me. That's, in, that's a thing. No, nope, that's do. not what rules. you said. You said pushing. No, I said that first, and then I said drag him. <laughs> no, nope, But you were already, like, so out that you didn't hear me, so... I mean, I don't think we're going to drag you now. <laughs> <laughs> so oh man the gifts that no one will ever see I know um, alright so you guys go down I this mean, path he moved mean what? faster so I'm just saying for a moment mm -hmm. <laughs> alright so you can even argue that he flew for a moment uh huh <laughs> yeah he, he made some straight distance straight into the ground <laughs> it's not okay, sorry. We get closer. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm just drawing your path here. We. All right, I need to look. So, uh, as you kind of go in through here, it feels like you're almost like going up an incline, and then like it, you're going kind of like up and down. The wind is going throughout all this. You know what? And then as you kind of see her in the map. Give me a stealth check. Okay. Anybody that wants to. What does that oh, mean? That's an 85 like, well, over... Well, maybe some people would want to stealth. Some people may not. That's an 85 <laughs> over 56. Maybe Hank might climb up a tree. <laughs> an, uh, an 80... Will... What over 56? An, an 85 over 56. Mm. David is... Okay. Thinks he's being stealthy, but really is not being as yeah, stealthy maybe, as he thinks. Maybe the cold is starting to set in your bones. Yeah, I got a 68 over a 32. I rolled a 20 under 50. Okay. So you guys... This is about the... It was about the same thing, like, between... I'm gonna say this was closer to, like... Like, 90 minutes, so... Okay. It was, like, 5, so now it's getting close to, like, 6.30. As you guys are getting in there, and so it's... Like, just between the tree cover. Like, you guys can... Well, no, we, I think it was just... We saw that it was cloudy. And so, maybe the... Every once in a while, like, the moonlight kind of comes out, but there really isn't any light until you kind of go around a corner and you see... this. Pretty much... old cabin it's it is not big uh and it's definitely weathered like that it's uh it's been hit by the elements it's it's a wood cabin um but uh it it's pretty much like people just forgot about it and uh 
yeah, you. It, it seems like maybe. Uh, yeah, the, that like not a lot of people come out here just from how far into the woods it is. Um, <clears throat> but, uh, but yeah, you guys can see that like from the cracks of the wood that there's like a soft flicker mm -hmm. of light. Um, mm -hmm. but like whether that's like. Uh, it's not an electronic light. It, it could be like an actual torch or something like like a, a like lantern a or something, or a candle. Okay. Yeah, something <clears throat> or multiple candles. Um. So, what would you guys like to do? <laughs> um. Be very quiet. Um, <laughs> Hank wants to do like a perimeter check and look for you know just signs of recent activity. See if anybody's mm -hmm. like come and gone from the uh, the cabin. Um, yeah, uh, spot cool. hidden or yeah, David will do the yeah, same. Yeah, I think spot hidden would. David's gonna do the same thing in like the opposite direction, so we'll nod at Hank and we'll we'll just kind of circle the building on opposite Go around. directions. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay, yeah. Give me spot hidden checks. Uh, Del, are you going to take that acid you found? <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to get high. No, she's going to do kind of like a... She'll, like, stay put and be, like, on watch or lookout for, like, if anyone moves, like, if she sees any shadows or if anyone comes outside or anything like that. So just kind of, like, provide them some co cover. So that's right. a 60 under 78 for David. And I have an 11 under 50. 11 under 50. Whoop, sorry, Knight, what was yours again? Uh, 60 uh, under 78. Okay. Um, and then, Hank, is yours a hard success? Uh, 11 under 50? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, hard. It's not extreme. Okay. So, um, yeah, so David, as you're looking through, like, you're... You're not seeing any. It, it's just it, it's too dark or, or whatever uh, is going on that it's hard to see. Like you can definitely see what looks like movement and like so not not movement. Sorry, but um, you're not seeing clear tracks. Uh, whether it, it's just the the darkness is playing tricks with you and stuff, but like you are seeing what looks like some sort of foot traffic, recent foot traffic around the the cabin. Um but it's like it's kinda like scattered like a, on the sides and then like kinda to the like near the tree line, in the tree line, out of the tree like it's you're not you're not able to really you kinda see the middle of this and you're not really able to find um the like the start or end. Yeah, so the, it's like a bunch foot. of a bunch of activity is kind of what I hear there. <clears throat> mm -hmm. um, are there yeah, any and, are there like any door other doors or windows around this cabin as as we're circling it? No, it's just a single door. No, no uh, windows. So, uh, yeah, and it it is small. Like it's like a almost like studio apartment size. <laughs> it's it's a tiny house. <laughs> with the with a big roof uh but anyway uh yeah so it's actually it's i've seen some of those tiny houses it's bigger than a tiny house um but anyway yeah there's uh from what you can see in the dark and everything that it looks like there's only one entrance um hank what you see since you got a, a hard success was you kind of see the same thing like kind of the same foot traffic but near the um, near the stairs, you can see that there. Sorry, I said stairs. There are no stairs uh, outside. Near the doorway, <laughs> you see a very clear like um, like hands digging into the dirt and getting like the trail is being pulled towards the door. Ooh. So, like, someone being dragged? Yep. Or clawing? No. 
The first one was right. Yeah. Uh, By right, the way, so it's dead quiet in here. Like, you guys don't hear any screaming or, or anything. Right. Do we, uh, I assume, kind of, like, regroup back, like, towards the front, or...? I mean, that's where I am, so... Okay. Do an acid. Yeah. <laughs> so as, like, uh, after Hank, like, notices the, the drag marks, he kind of, like, nods over... Uh, in that direction and just kind of like softly says like somebody was dragged uh yeah sure looks like it um it doesn't look like there's any other doors into this thing um let's well, I guess let's just see it doesn't look very big either so if we just bust open this door, then... Yeah, that's... There's something... It sure looks like there's something in here. Let's... Let's just hope it's not another bear. <laughs> <clears throat> and you open the door, only you can stop forest fires. <laughs> <laughs> Deli just kind of, like, gently nudges David and, like, just quietly kind of under her breath says, like, just remember what he might have. We I, need to be careful. I haven't forgotten. And brings his gun out re uh, in the ready again. <clears throat> Alright, so you guys are entering in? Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Dave's like, yes! <clears throat> Alright. So as you enter here, um, it is a very small room. There, it's not as tight as the root cellar, but all you guys can, all three of you guys can move in. But like, it's pretty much like a five five foot by five foot cube um, inside, and you can see. Pretty much like a wood stove on the one thing, a, a dilapidated table. It's very clear to set, see that um, pretty much uh, that th whether it was time or vandalism, like the inside of this place has been destroyed. Like it, uh, whatever was left in here. Um, However, what you do see kind of near the back wall is these wooden steps leading up towards the the loft area. Uh, there's like a little loft attic upstairs. And sorry, I need to clarify something. The light that you guys saw, um, it was in what you would assume the attic. Mm. Yeah, I didn't on the hear outside. I didn't hear the yeah. two floor, I, I, multi floor description either. Yeah. 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 No, it's it it's not like a big it, it's not like a tall thing. It's like like a, a almost like a crawl space. Like it, it's pretty much it's not very tall, but it's uh yeah, it's there, there is an an attic and a, a roof, but it's not like uh it, it it's pretty much like the, from from the outside and then what how high you can see like where the the ceiling is it almost looks like a like maybe just a sleeping area where it's like there's not a lot that happens up there when this thing was well maintenance um but can everyone give me actually no not that roll yet as you guys also look across the room you guys see as you you, your eyes catch um, the the staircase. Uh, you see bloody handprints smearing on the back wall with the staircase, and like kind of on the steps, like handprints being smeared, like kind of fingers dragging like up towards the upstairs. Gosh. Um. And. What I need you guys to do 
is give me a listen, a listen check. Okay. Ooh, okay. That is a four under 61. Wow. Nice. I have an 82 I over a, 40. I got a 19 under 54. All right. Good job, Dice. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> You're on the good books today. <laughs> so... You, uh, pretty much Deli and, and David, you guys both hear this. You hear this, like, hopefully Zoom is not, uh, <laughs> noise getting that out. I but, heard, like, just the tiniest of tick sounds twice with yeah, what looked to be where there should be more, but... I'll get closer. <laughs> Hopefully, you guys can see. Nope, not Something a Something like that. Whatever. You hear, like, this, <laughs> like, liquid smacking noise. Like, this oh, faint gross. liquid smacking noise. Okay. And you see that um, it is this red droplet coming nope. from the roof, but it's weird. The ceiling? Like, Yes, we're in the ceiling, okay. dripping down, kind of in the center of the room. I the the kind of the noise that everyone uh, in the recording will hear, um, <laughs> but it, it's slower because it, it's you like as you recognize it, like you catch the drip uh, of this red liquid, but it almost falls in like s not like it does fall in slow motion as it hits the ground. Nothing else around it is in slow motion? Just nope. it? Just just the, the droplet. <sighs> and David, with your um, stupid successful roll, you, you hear faintly just this <sighs> like this groan pained breathing but it's also like sp like drug out the the sound where it's just like the inhale seems to happen almost like 30 seconds longer and then there's like 30 seconds of silence and then almost 30 seconds of this slow exhale coming from the loft What would you like to do? Well, so, obviously we have to go up there. Where? Also, like, real quick, before we, is... for, hold up. Before you guys do this, there's a lot of weird blood viscera kind of stuff. Give me sanity rolls. We haven't had enough of those yet. <laughs> I already had a sanity check. I'm fine, oh, thank okay. you. Yeah, but you, you did that to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> That's a 9 under 76. <laughs> These guys are really good tonight. Uh, I'm so mad. I just it must rolled be a nice one to have loaded dice. under 87. I rolled right. a 12 under 48. Yep. On a no. roll that got me nothing than just not losing my mind. <laughs> I mean, and it's kind of important. It literally got you nothing because you don't, you're not, you guys are rock solid right now. Yeah. Um, what Can part I... of the room is this very slow blood drip in? The center. Okay. And then so, the... Sorry, go ahead. So, um, David's... I think David wants to make sure that... Like, I think David would recognize, have some level of recognition, not like complete, but with the description that they would have had for, uh, for, the, uh, for the artifact in question, as well as the descriptions from skip and dad related to it as well that this is probably related to the artifact and would want to make sure that if jacob decided to basically axe the ceiling th through the ceiling to get to to escape or something that they 
nobody would be below it. And so Jacob's, or so David's going to kind of motion the others to spread out and cover the stairs, but also keep the get them out from the center of the, make sure nobody's in the center of the room while he's heading up, heading towards the stairs. So we're kind of like perimetering towards yeah, the, that's the stairs. That's the idea. So you guys stealthing over there? Yeah. Uh, gonna try. Yeah. Well, let's see if you do. Okay, Dice. You're on a roll right now. That's a 13 under 56. Okay, and I got an 18 under 32. And I am 41 under 50. Woo-hoo-hoo! Hey. You guys slink your way over there. Like, quiet. No, where all people can hear, like they're watching this, would be this labored breathing and just the 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 padding of this red liquid drops in slow mo. Are you guys going up the stairs? Uh, David is. I think the others are. The idea that, at least in my mind, is that the others would be kind of flanking the room on either side of the room to both cover the stairs and uh, other potential avenues that he could choose to use to escape, mm -hmm. potentially. What so, is um, the order you guys are going up? David first? Yeah, so mm -hmm. David's going up the stairs, and I think the other two are kind of like opposite, side, uh, uh, opposite sides of the room. They're not necessarily going up the stairs, at, at least not at this point. Clearing the ground floor. Okay. I'll just. Alright, that's. Okay, that's fine. I'll get rid of that. So. <laughs> David, as you walk up the stairs, you see the flickering of the lantern come into view. As in the middle of the floor, you see the body of Becca. Still alive. However, the blood is coming from her. But what you also notice in the room, and technically on Becca's person, is a crimson handled axe that is lodged in her chest as she slowly breathes and bleeds out in slow motion and with that we'll see you next week the very uh, conveniently timed uh, downbeat <laughs> like bracketed your statement <laughs> if I knew these songs better I could I would do it more <laughs> well then oh boy as I said apparently this chapter's a little bit more intense <laughs> Apparently, so far, oh, no sign of boy. Jacob, though. <sighs> so far, as far as Not we yet. can see. But who knows? Maybe next week, we'll all find out together. <laughs> Hopefully. Don't worry. Okay. I know where he is. I'm well, sure you do. <laughs> it would be problematic if you did it. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where did he go? <laughs> <laughs> and then we just all hear, it's my turn to play. <laughs> oh, gosh. Hello. <laughs> yeah, not this chapter so far. Yeah, no, Theodore, you true. can't have the axe. <laughs> oh, man. Are you going to fight him for it? <laughs> Rochambeau for it. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. See you guys next week. Doodles. Bye. 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 Bye.